G'day guys. In this video, I'm going to do a more in-depth review on this smart punching bag by Move It. So I've had it for a couple of weeks now and I quite like the bag. I enjoy working out on it and in general it's it's a good workout. There's lots of movement going on. It's going back and forth. So I'll talk about the mechanics of it first before I talk about the app and the software. So as it stands, it sort of goes from side to side and you can adjust sort of the speed to some extent. But more, most importantly, you can adjust the height. And I found round about chest height is ideal for me. Simply because when I punch, I throw my punches sort of down a little bit. And so I have it a little bit lower than, well, I suppose it's still shoulder height, but it's, for me, it sort of feels like chest height. When I had it a little bit higher, I was hitting the plastic quite a bit with uh, my punches. So I decided to move it down. I feel more comfortable with it down. In terms of its movement, I like how it moves. I like that oscillating movement. Anyway, let me just put the gloves on and do a quick, quick demo. If this bird would shut up in the background. All right, so I've got my gloves on. I'm just gonna start, usually I just start with a warm up and just basically got some jabs. So it's a fairly natural movement. I've had to pump it up a little bit. A little bit more, that is, but you can sort of. So it's a good, you know, nice rhythm. Keep up this rhythm and then deliver some more, more solid punches within your workout. You can also let the bag swing back and decide what you want to do, whether you want to block it or take a hit on your, on your abs. So you can work out your abs as well. Or you can try and weave by the weave. So there you go. So yeah, in terms of its movement, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty good. And I start to feel like you know, I can get a good work out of it. In terms of trying to do different types of combinations, I mean, one, two, you can try and do an uppercut. An uppercut is a little bit difficult because there's not that much coming out. But you can still do it. In terms of um, hook, you can do a hook. I don't want to lock the camera down, but you can practice hooking technique, just like this. You can also practice elbows, so you can sort of do different elbows strikes. You could do direct elbow strikes. practice those and um, yeah elbows are a little bit tricky if you've got the uh, ball set too high because you can hit there uh, on the plastic but once you've set it up to your liking in terms of I think I would recommend about uh, about chest height once you set it correctly 
you should be able to hit just the ball and just practice you know a particular movement it is a little bit hard to do combinations with this ball because it does move around a lot but in terms of just being able to do freestyle whatever you know get a couple of minutes of different combinations generally ones that send the ball going back that way as opposed to sideways so once it starts going sideways it is a little bit tricky but I'm still getting used to it so that's sort of the mechanics of it how it works I'm pretty happy with it um, you can move around the ball as well so you can move around as you're working on it so you can like, position yourself as you would in a ring which I like that I like that idea um, so you can work work your way around the ball as you would do with in a fight um, but as far as the software as far as the apps concerned you've got to have this sort of facing towards you to register accuracy in terms of your hits except for the game mode which pretty much allows you to work walk around and and um, strike from any direction so now on to the app itself a couple of modes with the app now you, you basically need to set it up where you can see your phone or your iPad or wherever it is that you're using it's quite interactive in that it, it judges your hits it, it works out how hard you hit it works out how accurately you hit and so there's a couple of modes one mode is a training mode where the app gives you a combination that you've got to work on so for example it might be one three four block one two three four we one two three four so it might be something like that um, and the better you're at you've got to go like, like that for a couple of minutes and the better you're at it the higher score so the aim is to try and get 100 a score of 100 which was challenging and interesting at the same time so it makes you want to keep doing it because you want to try and get that you know perfect score and then there's game mode and game mode basically just there's the first game that I've played there is just freestyle just smashing it from different angles different positions it records all the punches how hard you hit how many times you've hit how often you hit the rate etc and then gives you a score at the end again it's great because you it in, encourages you to keep going try again and beat your score or beat other people's score I haven't explored the app in that much detail but I do like working on the ball just as it is just freestyle come out and basically warm up before I go on the heavy bag I'll go on this bag and just warm up my body get my movements move around and um, yeah and just get warmed up the thing that separates this bag from a heavy bag or, or a stand-up bag is its movement so it's moving around so you're always following the flow of the bag so it's coordination um, so it's making you watch the bag and hit it with accuracy it's like you're fighting you know it's like a fighter weaving and bobbing and it comes at you you got to go back or you got to weave and bob so it simulates that movement and makes your punches more and more accurate as you train with it as opposed to just a heavy bag that you hit just for power you know kick whatever hit for power this is more accuracy control speed as well so you got to make sure that when you are punching you're also guarding and you're moving in the right sort of way so yeah Overall, I really like this bag, and I'd give it 5 out of 5 stars. So, thank you for watching, and for details, check out the description below. Give us a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe. I'll do more reviews like this.